The thing about shooting film is that you gotta first put the film in, then advance the film, put the camera lid back in, adjust your shutter speed, and of course, focus. Make sure your shot is framed properly, and shoot. Okay, I didn't really shot it because the film is too damn expensive, and that's why this video is created using the enhancer. So hopefully you like that intro video. So um, first and foremost, that I'm not really a professional color grader, so I don't really know how to do a proper color grade. So and that's why I like to use the enhancer because it's really um, quick and compact. So let's get into it. First of all, you will have to download the enhancer and install it on your computer. I'm using Mac, so this is the Mac version. I'm just going to library and search on the enhancer and just drag it in. And what I like to what I like to do is I would like to create um, three notes um, before um, the actual the enhancer itself because I use it as a like a like a film last look um, last thing, but it doesn't matter that. Um, and I'm gonna name it um, as exposure, white balance, and contrast. Right. Um, but um, you can also change those things in the dehancer itself. Um, I just personally like to do it um, beforehand. So um, after you drag it on, um, choose your camera. Um, this is shot on Fujifilm XG2S. So already just choose your camera already. XG2S and choose on f 2 And uh, in the film profile section, there's a lot of film you can choose from, you can see. Um, so we're just gonna choose just, uh, just some film. I'm just gonna choose um, Kodak. Uh, Vision 3 500C, right? And make sure that's enabled. And now we're gonna choose in the print section. I'm um, just gonna go to profile and click on Kodak 2383 print film. And just boost that color density. Go up. Uh, enable that film compression. Actually, nope. <laughs> um, go into Film Developer and just boost that color a little bit. And yeah, I think I am pretty happy with that look already. Um, let's go down in the halation section. I'm gonna enable a uh, halation. A uh, halation is the um, the highlight parts that is uh, like glowing. Also, bloom, enable that. Make sure um, the highlights a little bit like, um, you see, a bloomy. And I don't think I'm gonna do film damage, film breast, and gateway. They're not really my style. And one thing that's also very interesting in the enhancer that you have this overscan section. You can enable that. And it gets you a, like, a, like a real like um, overscan of the real print film itself um, so for this one we can just you know, mess around with it I don't really like the um, perforation so I'm just gonna take it off and just like that very quickly we already have um, an image that I'm satisfied with so you see I didn't really um, change anything about the uh, exposure weapons and contrast just lift up a little bit I don't. I think it's okay. It's like that. Sometimes you just want to keep it simple. All right. Let's moving on. Um, this is also shot with the uh, Fujifilm XG2S. So we're just going to, we're just going to um, copy the film in here, and uh, I mean I'm going to copy the um, uh, the look over here. I'm I'm going to um, disable the overscan section. So disable that. And uh, for this one, we you know we can try some different um, film uh, profile. For example, we can choose the uh, 50D. Yeah, yeah, and you can using this button to push and pull. And 
you know, um, we can add some color density and turn down the target white so it's more warmer look. I'm just going to in the exposure section to raise the exposure a little bit and the white balance section. Uh, by the way, you can also change the white balance uh, in the dehancer itself using the temperature and the tint up and also the also the exposure as well but I just like to uh, do it separately so that's a personal style um, and in the white balance I'm just going to you know play around um, with the um, offset itself and I'll lap a little bit contrast and see and there's also you, may, you know you can change your contrast um, black point white points inside uh, the answer itself so uh, you don't you don't actually have to create those notes this is just uh, personal uh, personal um, preference uh, right and I think I'm pretty um, satisfied with the uh, the look of this and let's just move on and now we have a shot that is uh, you know shot using the uh, the drone shot so I'm trying to um, have uh, like some different shots shot on different cameras and you can see how easy this is to apply you know the enhancer to different camera and different color profile so um, same thing we're just gonna copy the uh, the look from here and we're gonna de reset it and choose the source you know to DJI and Mavic 3 this is actually shot on Mavic 3 Pro but I don't see an option here so it's gonna kick on my Mavic 3 and D-Log and how about we choose Actochrome this time you know, can play around with different um, film profile. Um, uh, Ectochrome is actually um, one of the color positive that is produced by Kodak. So the color is more uh, vibrant. And going to print section, still 2383. See a little bit, uh, not as green. It changed the color to, you know, more of a orange look. So. Actually, I'm going to choose this. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> Kodak in your glossy paper. And yeah, yeah, oh. And I think I'm going to actually disable the film grain because I don't really like to put grain, you know, um, a drone footage. But Felicia is fine, Bloom is fine. Gonna raise the exposure a little bit. White balance, same thing. Make it a little bit more green. And for contrast, I'm actually going to decrease it a little bit so it's not very sharp because the DJI footage sometimes they're way too sharp. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna play around, you know, um, over here with you know all of these uh, film compression and film developer until I'm satisfied with just messing around with it yeah I think I'm pretty happy with that already so all right, let's just move on. Then this is how quick it is, I think. Just to reset it. All right. And this is um, shot on Sony A7S III, you know, one of the most popular cameras in the market. A7S III and S Slug III, as kind of silly. And yeah, first and foremost, just change the uh, print. That's how about 250D? Haven't tried that yet. 
Alrighty, and two, three, three, our old friend. And what about a uh, little bit of color density? And you know, just to show you, just change the exposure like that real quick. You don't have to do it right here, you know, just do it here, the lazy way. Which is also good. And out. A little bit range. A little bit density. Um, let's see. And there's actually a lot of way you know you can change your exposure in the print section. Um, you know, uh, black point, white point. Um, in your, you know, you can change your exposure in lots of way in the enhancer uh, tab. Um, and I'm going to do the white balance. Oh, it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> your uh, grain you know depending on the look you pr uh, prefer 8 millimeter is more harsh uh, 65 is more like a finer grain I just do 35 and am I going to uh, just, uh, raise these shadow parts a little bit density yeah as you see you know, when you do that the whole color is more richer it's more dense just playing around with the color boost color density and also the color density over here and yeah yeah all right i'm uh, moving on uh, this is osho um shot using the uh, sony s3 so i'm just gonna copy that you know right here and you see already this is this already looking uh very good but the grain's a little bit too much disable that this is one of the benefit of the you know you can uh having a film like authentic film look but you can also do more like a digital look you know, just disable you know the film grain and the halation uh, the bloom is fine and you can have you know a look that is having the color but not having a much of a char characteristic of the um, the film itself I'm gonna change the target white, you know, to down to minus two. So you know, um, the sky is more of a warmer color. I prefer that. I think. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. I'm just gonna copy this right here. Same thing. Ooh, but this is. I'm gonna reset this uh, white balance uh, and and exposure. I think I'm going to. Raise it up a little bit in the game. Um, right. Um, uh, Kodak, and I'm just going to play around. You know, the Kodak Actar is pretty good. Actachrome, ooh, that's a little way too much. I think I just want to do Actar. And what should we do? around I think um, black point white point right right profile you see there's a little bit noise right here I don't know if you can see it uh, probably mostly because you know I raised the shadow a lot and this is 
origin is shot um, a little bit uh, over uh, under exposure. That's you want to have in your noise cancellation playing a role coming in. Uh, so for noise cancellation, what I like to do is enhance large. 10 and then on the temporal uh, noise reduction uh, 3 faster medium 13 you can see and always remember you know put your noise reduction notes in the very front and put it on in the very last because it's going to eat up your computer really fast <laughs> choose like different uh, look actually I think I like 250D better the same old 250D okay and look at that dirty look we can add some film grain halation yeah actually I think I'm going to um, have been the grain of 16 millimeter, so it's more of a dirty look. Yeah. Oh wow. I think pretty happy with the results. And yeah, that's going to be the whole video of the review of the enhancer. As you see, it's very um, compact, and I've tested, you know, using um, a different film profile. Shout out my Fuji film um, on the uh, DJI, and also sound up shots are using oh wait a minute now look at this this little bit a little bit interesting i'm gonna a little bit cooler you know so like a warm and uh, cool color difference yeah <laughs> i think that's better yeah as you can see, uh, shot on different color profile, and the enhancer is able to, you know, base uh, to grade based on your camera and your color profile. And yeah, hopefully you like the video. You can also use um, if you want to try it out yourself. You can use the coupon code Ankai to try it out yourself. You can get a uh, 10% off <laughs> with my uh, my name <laughs> and shout out to the enhancer uh, for providing the uh, film plugin and I'll see you next time thank you for watching